Despite government stringent measures to eliminate all forms of child labor, these trend tribes, as some parents, not only give out their children to work as domestic herbs, also encourage them to be trafficked. This eight-year-old girl, an indigenous of Imo State, happened to fall victim to such act and was rescued by concerned citizens of Edo State after she ran away from the home of a guardian. <laughs> How long you stay from there? Uh -huh. The white probably she was not willing, so I don't know what happened. You took her back. Sir, sir. You're not what I'm going to be. Sir. It's human trafficking. Sir. A dusty government through the Ministry of Youth and Gender and the Human Trafficking Unit of the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps frowned at any form of child labor and reunited the young girl with her biological parents as part of its mandate to ensure that children's rights were protected as a strand in the Child Rights Act. I want to say it here again. I want to hand this daughter of yours to you, but you write an undertaking on a weekly basis. Well, I think you all presumably, your command in Imo states will still help us do some follow up. We want to know from, I'll be telling you first, education. Because a new term has begun. Basic education is free everywhere in Nigeria. So you have to put her in school, right? Documents. Commissioner, if it is possible, it should be included that what we have settled today should not be generated into crisis between both families. So that From now, if I take her now, when she and a rich village now, she will follow school. That. Tell your wife, nobody should lay hands on her. No, right? We don't because that. she has said these things to us, then, because I will still get to know. Immaculata Akab Wizeli was another young girl rescued and rehabilitated by the Human Trafficking Unit of the NSCDC some years ago when she was being maltreated by her guardian. The commandant Samuel Dan, who was visibly elated, says the young girl has now become a nurse student. He warned parents against trafficking their children for financial gains. Like I said, she was supposed to be trafficked. But through the efforts of the NACDC, through interventions in a sensitization program, she came up and she was assisted. And from that time, the NACDC has been engaging with her and the state government. And good enough, the state government was able to uh, uh, to give her a scholarship. I was I was rescued. I was thrown out of the house because I spoke out. But I was still going. I want to. I would, I would I'm say I'm, I'm very grateful mm -hmm. because along the way, the needle said, "Oh, because we have rescued you, we will leave you." No, they're always behind me. Make sure that I'm not thinking about anything that will bring me down because I can be emotional sometimes. So they were there for me and everything. Even down to when I wrote my exam and matriculation, I didn't see any of my relatives. They were just they, they were just like a family. I was just welcome here. I feel loved and everything. The NSCDC and the state government solicited the cooperation of the public for information that affects the well being of children. We'll see you when we see what Mr. Do AIT News Benin.